Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing graduate assistantships and we're going to be answering five critical questions regarding assistantships. So they are, what are assistantships, how do you get them, how much do they pay, when do you apply, and finally, how can you be competitive? So let's just jump right in. First question is, what are graduate assistantships? So graduate assistantships, or just assistantships, are basically jobs that you can do around the university while you're a graduate student, okay? So there's mainly three different kinds of graduate assistantships. We have teaching assistantships, research assistantships, and then sort of like assistantships, on-campus jobs, that kind of thing. Okay, so let me explain. First of all, teaching assistantships are just jobs where you kind of teach a class or you take a lab or you grade papers. Essentially, you'll be assigned to one particular course and the professor who's teaching that course will have some things for you to do, right? For example, you might have to have, you might have, to have like say, doubt clearing sessions or something a week before the examination. You might have to conduct the labs. You might have to grade the papers. It's really up to you. It depends on the professor and the university, okay? So that's what a teaching assistantship is. Next, a research assistantship. So here you're basically like a research assistant and you'd be an assistant to either a professor or like a PhD student. And then you just basically help them with their research, right? You might help them with their simulations or maybe there's some programming involved, involved so you'll be helping them with that or you'll be logging data and so on. It really depends on the type of research, right? And then finally, you have just like these on-campus jobs kind of thing where either you might be helping like a department, for example, the immigration department or the admissions department or the marketing department, right? Or you could be working as, uh, working, you know, in other places around the university. So basically, they're just jobs around the university that graduate students do while they study and they get paid for. So now, how do you guys get these assistantships? Okay, so for most cases, assistantships are taken through the internal portal. So when you guys get an admit at a university, you'll be given, of course, your own like ID for that particular university. You'll have to set a password and so on, right? And then you can log into their internal portal. So on the internal portal, they'll have like, you know, listings of all the assistantship positions available, you know, like teaching assistant, teaching a class, like TAing a class or, you know, being like a research assistant and so on, or like any other on-campus job that's available to grad students and so on, right? So you have to log into the portal and then you just directly apply. In most cases, you will be applying through the portal, but there are some exceptions, right? So for example, let's say you are taking a class on say machine learning, like a graduate level class on machine learning, okay? So if you wanna be like a teaching assistant and then you know, you, what you can do is you can go approach that professor and if you know that they're either gonna take the same class again next semester or they're gonna take like a similar class for undergraduate students, you can go ask them, okay, can I be a teaching assistant to you, you know, in the same machine learning class when you teach the class again or you teach the class to like undergrad students. So like getting these jobs through the professor is also very possible, right? And this is especially true in the case of research assistantships. So if you're taking like, you know, a professor's class and you're really doing well in it, then you can ask the professor, you know, do you have any RA ship positions available? I'm pretty good at, you know, what I've been doing so, so far in this class and I enjoy it. I would love to, you know, assist you guys on in your lab's work. Right? And for the other types of jobs, you know, like I said, you know, you'd be assisting each kind of department or whatever. Those kind of jobs, you can't really approach anyone. It's mostly just through the internal portal. When they have, an, when they have a position available, they'll just put it up on the portal and you just gotta apply. Before we move on to the next question, I just wanna remind you guys to subscribe to the channel because we have a ton of graduate program related information every single week, okay? Now, how much do they pay, okay? So the pay actually depends on the university and more than the university, also on the department, right? So generally what happens is the richer departments, like the computer science departments, will tend to pay more than the less rich departments, right? But the general amount in the US is approximately $14 an hour. And of course, you're allowed to work for 20 hours a week in any kind of assistantship, right? That's the maximum that you can work for. And the thing is, so this might be a little bit difficult for you, to, for you guys to understand, like, okay, how much money is that really? And of course, this money is gonna vary depending on the country, university, and department, right? But the general consensus is that if you get like an assistantship, either a TA ship or an RA ship, you can have enough money to cover your living expenses for one month. Right? So you'd get like an RA ship for like a month or two or like three months, right? Then you can, then you're basically like your living expenses will be covered for those three months. Okay, so that's generally how much these assistantships pay. So next, when do you apply to these assistantships, right? So you guys only apply after you get admitted into the university, right? So I told you after you get admitted and you, you know, you accept your offer and everything, they'll give you your login credentials so you can actually, you know, log into their internal portal and then, you know, check out what's inside, right? So they'll also have like, you know, assistantships available within that portal so you can apply through that portal. Right? It's really difficult for incoming graduate students to get an assistantship in the first semester. So from the second semester onwards is really when it becomes a little bit more easier and like, you know, more, more feasible. But it's still possible for you guys to get, an, for, to get an assistantship in the first semester. 
And last question is, how can you be competitive, right? So for TA ships, again, you wanna apply early because there's gonna be a lot of demand for these things, right? And it's even better if you took like a related class at that university so you can teach that, you know, related class. Like you can TA that particular related class. And bonus points if you actually know the professor well because, you know, they'll hold sway over which of the TAs they're getting, okay? And then for RA ships, again, if you know the professor really well, that's also gonna help a lot. So if you take a class and if you know, if you get to meet the professor and you interact with them well, and at the end of the class, you know, you ask, wait, hey, do you guys have a, do you have like an RA ship? position available if they like you if they like you they might interview you and then you know they might hire you for that position okay now for the other department you know other graduate assistantships again there's not the professors are really not involved and departments just really don't care so you just really have to apply through the internal position you know list your uh, list your related skills you know have like a really polished resume and all of that so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if it helped you out leave a like and if you loved it subscribe as well all right i'll see you in the next one bye bye